The Democrats have shut down all discussion on the prudence and even rationale for our new near suicidal policy in Ukraine. They've shut down all discussion on the vaccines, their side effects. They've shut down all discussion on big pharma, Fauci, gain of function. So what do you think is the effect of that, the political effect of shutting down debate? Well, we already know. And we're not just seeing it here in the United, we're not just seeing it in the Republican Party where they tried to shut down Pat Buchanan and the populist America first uh, national uh, agenda by rhinos and neocons forcing the Bushes and, and the Romneys and the McCains on us. We're not just seeing it in the Republican Party, we're seeing it in the Democratic Party, and we're not just seeing it here in the United States, we're seeing it in Europe as well. By shutting down any possibility for a coherent and, and civil discussion on these issues, all the Democrats, and by implication as well, Republicans, all they ended up doing was opening the opportunity for the rise of what we call bootleggers, right? What's a bootlegger? Well, you make alcohol illegal, you ban alcohol, but people still want to drink. So what are they going to do? They turn to the black market. They turn to a parallel economy. So these bootleggers in politics are basically representing a parallel politics. They, they found that they can amass a huge following by advocating what the establishment parties in government refuse to allow discussed and, and advocated and championed. That's what we're seeing here with Bobby Kennedy on the left. Of course, we already saw it on the right in the GOP with Donald Trump. Remember, Donald Trump in 2016, Donald Trump was the third party candidate who won a major party nomination. One of the reasons why he was able to blow away 15 or 16 of the GOP's finest on that debate stage was because he was so thoroughly unique. He was talking about things, border security, economic security, cultural security. He was talking about things that no other, you know, rhino infested, neocon advisor surrounded uh, politician was willing to talk about. That's the astonishing thing. So it, it's absolutely uh, what we have to see. What we have to say here is Donald Trump was a third party candidate who won a major party nomination. We're seeing the same thing in Europe with the rise of nationalist populist parties that have increased by 300 percent over the last 10 years. You shut down the debate. You refuse to allow the concerns of a vast portion of your population get represented within the mainstream parties inevitably. Inevitably, I think I threw in an extra syllable in there, a uh, syllable. Inevitably, a bootlegger is going to rise up, tap into those frustrated and silenced concerns and ride the wave of popularity. That's what Trump is doing right now. And that's what Bobby Kennedy is doing now on the political left. It is time, gang, to celebrate the great return by clicking on the link below and getting your very own Trumpinator 2024 bobblehead in preparation for Donald Trump's glorious reascendance to the United States presidency. I mean, look at this, gang. I've got mine, and I absolutely love it. This collectible bobblehead from Proud Patriots is made with the highest quality material and really is a must-have for any Trump fan who wants to send some energy towards what is shaping up to be the most glorious political comeback in history. Now, don't wait. There's just a limited number of these collectibles, and you don't want to be caught paying way more later on on eBay when someone else bought it now, sells it. So whatever you do, don't wait. Click on that link below right now and show your support for Trump 2024 today. I think we've got, look at this headline from Politico. Josh, do you have, yeah, you got it. Look at this. This will give you a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Politico should just be called propaganda. <laughs> 
propaganda. That's it. Look at this. This is this is this is considered serious journalism. The Kennedy campaign, the Kennedys don't want to see. And here's the byline. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. opened his long shot presidential bid with a crowd full of conspiracy theorists, vaccine skeptics, and Republicans. Conspiracy theorists, vaccine skeptics, and Republicans. <laughs> I mean, how, how much more overtly dismissive and denigrating can you possibly get than that? That's about as patently absurd a headline as anything you would read on radical left-wing sites like Huffington Post or Salon.com. That's why it should be, it's propaganda. It's not Politico, it's propaganda. That's what they've slumped to. But the irony here, the irony is that the more they do this, the more the establishment Marxist media tries to belittle and silence and impugn the concerns of a vast portion of the population, the more they end up creating the very social conditions that all but guarantee the rise of populist campaigns. You got to get that calculus. And the beauty of it all is that <laughs> the more progressive and woke they become, the more they try to cancel and shut us down, the more powerful populists become. The more people are attracted to candidates who articulate the fact that the real enemy isn't this portion of the uh, population, you know, this portion of the people over here versus that portion of the people over there. It isn't conspiracy theorists or vaccine skeptics. It isn't even Republicans or Democrats. The real enemy is the political class itself that seeks to pit us against each other by pushing resentment politics down our throats. The ruling class is the enemy. This is, this is very much akin to what Ronald Reagan preached in his inaugural address when, when he said government is not the solution to the problem. Government is the problem. It wasn't just this libertarian. He wasn't pushing. If you go back to Reagan, it's very fascinating. He wasn't just pushing this stupid, libertarian, limited government philosophical abstraction. When he, when he would draw out what he was talking about, he was clear. He was talking about an establishment elite, a permanent Washington that had grown deaf to the concerns of Main Street, of your average American. And that is what needed to be rolled back. Sure, taxes, regulation, sure. But 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 the swamp is what needed to be rolled back. And that's what makes Trump so amazing is he's a Reagan. But for the 21st century, for a rising nationalist, populist, tribalist, civilizationalist era. So ironically, ironically here, gang, with RFK Jr.'s announcement. After think about it, after a nonstop 24 seven campaign to sideline populism in the United States conducted over the last six or seven years by a dying lamestream media. Populism is more popular than ever. Put that in your pipe.